It's 6.02 now. Here in southern Arizona, a mother and father from Sarita are taking action after a school counselor decided to cut their daughter's hair without permission. It happened earlier this month at Sarita Intermediate School. News for Tucson, Tupita Murillo has more from the parents and what the school district has to say about it. In a story you only see on 4. The parents tell me that she was so traumatized at the school that they took out an injunction for harassment against the school counselor. So she started brushing my hair, and when I started telling her to stop because it hurt, she didn't stop at all. The parents of the nine-year-old asked us not to show their daughter's face, but they want people to know what occurred at Sawarita Intermediate School between a child and a guidance counselor. She kept on doing it when I, even when I started crying. When I started crying, she started call, she said that I was like a crybaby. They tell me their child has very fine hair and a sensitive scalp. The parents say their daughter was crying and pleading with the counselor to stop. Instead of stopping, they say. Then she like, when she got like huge scissors and she started cutting my hair and and when I started telling her to stop, she didn't stop. The child went back to class and was very emotional. One of her friends made notice and asked her what happened. The child told her they both needed to go talk to the teacher and eventually went to the principal's office. Chris and Tina Wolf were called. It was an awful thing to hear of another adult doing to your child. The parents say the issue of her daughter not brushing her hair has come up before by both the teacher and the counselor. The teacher told them, she didn't see any signs of neglect. Abby, or my daughter was a good student. Um, and so she, she handled it the correct way. When they met with the counselor, that was another story. She wanted to meet with my daughter for counseling and put her in a group. Um, we did not give her permission to do so. But she made it very clear that my daughter needed to do something about her hair in order to fit in. The family feels as long as the counselor remains on campus, their daughter will be attending another school. Reporting from Sawarita, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.